But I have also classes with my uh, well uh, Spanish students at uh, uh, eight fifty and uh, nine thirty. So also I can ask uh, to join the students in the project to these classes if if you prefer another timing. Well, um, it depends, Fernando. What about you? How are you organized? <coughs> Uh, I can connect in the morning with the students, uh, for example, at 11, or, mm -hmm. or I can ask uh, them to, to connect in the afternoon. Yeah, the same, I'm thing, not sure. the same for me. I mean, mm -hmm. um, I can't get my students to, um, to connect early because um, they start uh, classes at half past eight. And so it would already be late for you because the school opens mm -hmm. at that time. We don't open up at eight. So um, mm -hmm. it would be, a, a, you know, but um, if you want, I mean, I know that it's difficult for Melinda and Indra tomorrow morning, probably. Um, we can um, I, we can just accept uh, Ed Melinda's suggestion in which the students can record their uh, presentation. And then we can all, um, students included, um, connect together in the afternoon around four o'clock, I don't know, three o'clock, four o'clock, and students connect on their own from their homes and they can present their uh, their recordings. I don't know, as you like. And then we could also follow one of these beautiful um, events on streaming because the whole day is going to be Earth Day and there are international events as well, so we can watch them with our students. It depends. I mean, what, whatever we like, we can do. I can connect in the morning at eight um, since uh, since eight to uh, uh, since eight in the morning. Um, I, I don't have any problems to connect in that hour, uh, and uh, and I, I can do and I um, I'd like to to do if there is some uh, someone of you uh, able to connect, of course, uh, um, even at half past eight, Lori. Uh, Lori uh, uh, maybe uh, maybe that's, that's my idea as well because uh, uh, I can't connect uh, late in the afternoon because then I am in another school because I'm working in two schools in Yurmala and uh, my students will not have a lessons uh, you know, till that time. Maybe we can connect with Edma Linda in, in the morning, for example, 8.30. And, and then we can record something of, uh, of our meeting and then uh, you can connect uh, later uh, during the day. And if we can uh, connect from our computers and our students can connect, yeah, so then it will be the second chance. Yeah. Okay, that's perfect, I think. We can agree on everything. So um, in, in the meanwhile, Maria's students have time and during the morning to prepare something because as I understood, Maria's students are, still haven't prepared their presentations for Monday. Yes, but we... Uh... Oh, your sound, sound... We can't hear you, Maria. You've deactivated your... Your microphone. Okay, okay, sorry. There we go. Well, uh, yeah, I can work with them during week and I can find them through our uh, uh, teamwork and maybe we can uh, catch up. Okay. with the rest of you so uh yeah let's uh fix the time and we'll be there presenting mm -hmm. whenever you are ready okay so, so what time would be good uh, for for you uh, i can adjust uh, look uh latvian time and greek time is the same so uh, whenever you have uh your um, you can we can too so in the morning around 9 30 latvian time that's 8 30 uh, central european time can you do that yeah. Is yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Fernando, is that okay for you? 8:30. 8:30. Okay. Mm, it's a bit Too early, early, but okay. I can Fine. I can try it. Okay. Maybe a little later then. Yes, an hour later or, or to, uh, can 9 30, 10 30, I don't. Nine. Uh, Indra, can you? 9:30 Central European time. Oh, well, nine, uh, blah, 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 blah. I must think, uh, uh, 9.30 European time? Yep. 
or something in the middle, maybe nine. <laughs> Give or take. Uh, it's like, uh, yeah, maybe it's better around nine because I have morning classes with my Spanish students and then I can arrange something uh, also with them. Yeah. But then the problem would be maybe. Ermelinda. She finishes at nine with her class. Sorry? It would be Ermelinda's problem because Ermelinda finishes at nine with her class. So... So I think that meeting all together would be better if we could uh, in the afternoon, if all of us are can. And Indra, you can you can record. You can just have your um, the Earth Day. You record it, and then in the afternoon we could watch what you recorded. And uh, the students, those of who are willing to participate, can um, just pitch in and. Um, and participate, and then we can have a sort of, of debate and a discussion about um, about the day too. They can have their presentation in the class during the yes. lesson. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 like this. Well, yeah. Record it. If you can, Indra, Lori, Maria, and Fernando, just for a few minutes, even in the morning at half past eight for Central Europe, nine um, half past nine for you, uh, just for a few minutes if you can, and then we can con continue to record uh, uh, the um, continue to record the uh, the others part of, the, of our lessons, of course, uh, that uh, is the celebration of that day, and uh, to present it in the in another meeting uh, in the sure. same day in the afternoon. Okay. No. Okay. Sure. I think it's fine. I think that's fine. Okay. Sure. So we join in at 8.30 um, Central European uh, time on Monday for a while until yeah. Melinda's class uh, ends. And then we meet again in the afternoon. So we need two uh, dates, two, two meetings. Slots. We have two slots. Okay. Yep. <laughs> okay. okay. I can prepare a link for 8.30. Okay. okay. Thank the you. Meeting for eight thirty, and then what will be the time for the afternoon? In the afternoon, I think we could just take it easy. I would say around uh, uh, four o'clock uh, Central Eastern Time. Fernando, Ermelinda. Mm -hmm. Four o'clock in the afternoon, in of course. Uh, um, um, maybe later. Okay. Because I'm busy, uh, I'm busy at, uh, um, at school. Um, mm. uh, okay, tomorrow uh, Monday morning, it's uh, it might be uh, um, a problem for me to me because uh, I'm at school up to five. So uh -huh. uh, um, I don't five know. In, five in the evening. In in the afternoon, yes, five p.m. Consigli di classe, Melinda. She's okay. got meetings, teachers' meetings. Okay, I'll let it be five o'clock Central European time. No, but she's still at school at five. She, we, she needs the time to get home. If you want, we can we can meet later uh, than five uh, if you're busy. Okay, we can meet even later. For me, five o'clock is okay if you are okay, mm -hmm. Melinda. I, I don't know. I don't calculate know. I, calculate I, the time you need to get home. Five thirty. It's better. Five okay, thirty. it's not a problem. Don't worry. We can okay. uh, we accommodate. Okay, so that would be five thirty. I'll create that link for the uh, after for the evening. Okay. So a recap: in the morning we meet and present, and we uh, watch Ermelinda's students present what they have prepared. Uh, how about Indra's and ours? Shall we present in the morning or in the afternoon? I think that two can present in the morning and three of us in the afternoon. So Ermelinda okay. and Indra can present in the morning. Okay? All right. And then Maria, me, and Fernando can present in the afternoon. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Right. Maria, Fernando, now. Lorena. Okay. Uh, let me see if this is all clear. And in the afternoon, what we're going to tell our students is that they're going to have to, um, they have to present. So they're going to be able to, you know, uh, share their monitor and mm -hmm. then they're going to speak. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, when they finish, because I don't want, it, it's going to be too sterile and, you know, cold if they just present it and nobody in, intervenes. It would be nice if, you know, if they have a sort of debate. So I'll prepare my students to um, 
to ask some questions if it's possible when they finish presenting. Obviously, every type of uh, um, question should be saved to the end of the presentation so we don't interrupt the students because they're already shy and emotional. So we'll try to you know, keep that in mind. And, um, and yeah, okay, well, that would be the afternoon. And then if it's possible, we'll just uh, uh, try to uh, watch together one of these international events about Earth Day. Um, and, uh, and we'll just finish it up there. Uh, I just wanted to, to say something else. I mean, the, um, all, the, all the, this project has been uh, planned uh, um, for Monday. Uh, but there are some activities that should be uh, still done after Monday. And that would be the, the quizzes, which is a sort of general quiz where they just, you know, are asked to answer some questions to test their knowledge on environmental and sustainability issues. Um, and that would be almost the end. I'll, I want to um, share my monitor with, with you. My, my, here, here we go so that we could see it together okay mm -hmm. so can you see it what i'm presenting yes. okay mm -hmm. so we've done this part here the ecological footprint our word is out uh, pictures the online meetings now and then and we've got up to icogram and i'm going to help you out because maria mm -hmm. still have some questions about the icogram then they have the quizzes competition um which would be basically um here it is there's this quiz where they have to insert the code. Here we go. I'll just illustrate it very quickly. Yes, I, I tried it last weekend. It said that the code was invalid. Ah. Yep. No, I did this beforehand. I, I made sure. <laughs> I made sure it was valid. Okay, well, I'll take care of that before you get okay. to that. Anyways, there. And then we have the dissemination day. Okay, and this would be on Monday. So um, here I've already, th this is your final impression. So it, it's a genially uh, file in which, you know, they could write, they could just edit it uh, and, um, and write whatever their final impressions on the project were, if they want. And um, so quizzes and the project evaluation. Here basically there is a Google Doc, all right, in which uh, um, uh, finally we have what their real impressions are. So, for example, have you been part of an e-twinning project? It's sort of a, a survey, okay? Have you ever dealt with issues relating to sustainability? Which steps did you like the most in during the project? And uh, would you like to continue the project through Erasmus Plus Mobility? Uh, did it contribute to your overall well-being at school, which is this year's uh, e-twinning um, let's say, um, um, object, okay, subject, and um, describe the project with one word. So this is something that they have to do by the end, but they can take their time. I mean, it's not a problem. And if we get any quality labels in the end, we'll just upload them here. So the project has, you know, a sort of memoranda of what they've done. And these are certificates that I've prepared that you can just print and give out to your students. Okay, this is to certify that Maria, student in the Earth Savers, has completed, okay? And then you write, you, you sign it, and you can give it out to your students. Okay, now um, I'll take care of this quiz uh, link, <laughs> okay, uh, as soon as I can. Um, I, I, uh, Maria told me that she had problems with the icogram. Does anybody else have problems with the icogram? Have any of your students managed to work on the icogram? Because what the feedback that I get from my students is that they uh, discuss with their uh, uh, foreign uh, friends and they cannot uh, find a way to do it. Haven't they come back to you? Not any? Not mine. Mine haven't. They have worked, have they worked on, the, on their icogram? They have, I think. Have. Look, okay, so I'll show you. Basically, I have um, enrolled in my icogram, okay? Um, and mm -hmm. uh, here I have uh, um, my Earth Saver design, okay? It's, it's a, this is, if I want to create a new one, all right? Otherwise, I can just, you know, go on and, uh, so I can go here to my classes. And um, 
all I do is uh, I write down basically you say here the student email and they create a sort of class and once they have uh, the whole entire group uh, they send a sort of link uh, and they participate in the same design so each okay. student each student each student needs to uh, download their names to write their names in this they class they have to yeah basically um i've we've created the groups no so one person of the group uh, lo logs into icograms and creates uh, the group through their emails and okay. sends... have your students to do that yes. have your students yes do that? yes yes okay. yes yes so each of your students has created uh, um i mean not uh, each the ones that are in the group yeah the, the one the one of your yeah. students in in each, in yeah. each group i mean uh, so I... should should our students wait from your students to send them the the link the uh... let me see if there anybody yes has <laughs> Uh, let me see if they have uploaded the creation yet it would be uh, uh, from page from no nobody has uploaded anything yes i know <laughs> nobody mm. okay maybe maybe you can you can ask to your students to help ours to do that um okay if uh, if they can of course well then and more than their um uh, instagram um contact probably they needed their their uh, emails would have been better mm -hmm. so they create can create the team okay so for example um Emelinda, what's your email so i'll just try with you uh Ermelinda andrelli chiocciolagmail.com So this would be it with double A, Ermelinda Andrelli, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Hmm. We have to try this before because student cannot be found. So it would be... Uh, because I, I'm not a student. But you can add to a student of mine if you want. Uh, just to uh, just to but probably uh, there's something not 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 wrong there's something wrong in this uh, app i think wait a minute um bird savers let's see status all Let me see if I can do this. Because if it doesn't work, it's not going to work for students either. A student could not be found. So this isn't going to be so simple. I can't help you because I don't know how it works. Um, basically, if I go to my designs, it should give me a class. Well, I don't think this works that much then. <laughs> I think that, Maria, you have a point there. Because I have created them with my students, but I can't see them now. Mm. No. Mm. But I can't get them to... Um, here, there should be a sort of... Uh, of um click where you can add students but mm -hmm. i can't see them now that's what they said they tried working together but uh, one couldn't see what the other was adding to them okay so 
table, so... <coughs> they didn't leave. That's strange. I did this with another class, with another group, uh, and it was it was easy. They they just you know, well, I don't know. So it it must be somewhere then, uh, like uh, uh, to share this, to share the document or to share the the picture icogram. Yeah. Uh, like we are doing with the uh, Google documents. Otherwise, it's it's impossible. Sure. Sure. But uh, I'm not sure this is, it, it's not working the way it should be. Because if I create my class, they're supposed to have it. Um, very strange. Very strange. Well, um, we'll see. If, if it doesn't work, then... Uh, we I don't want students to stress what happened. Oh dear! Okay. You're disappeared. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Okay, um, I don't want students to stress. If this happens, if they can't get, I'll, I'll try to solve this problem. But if I can't, then um, we'll I'll just create another Google Doc with the things to put in, and they can cooperate on a Google Doc, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll send you the uh, the link on uh, our WhatsApp group and they, you can uh, just send it to your students afterwards and I'll substitute in the, um, in the, in the plan, in the, that in the pages, mm -hmm. in the pages. By the way, Indra, did you get a chance to look at the pages? Are you in the uh, Twin Space now? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, good. Yeah. Good, 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 perfect. And uh, if they can't uh, uh, share the documents, so then maybe they can uh, uh, build their cities in the class group and then upload uh, yeah. in, in, in the document. In the Canva, sure. yeah. There's the Canva. The, yeah. They're supposed to up, uh, upload mm -hmm. it in the Canva. There's a link. Mm -hmm. so each, each class can do that. Each, each class, class, yeah. Each class can do that. Not each group, but each class of ours. Yes, of because yeah. in the end, they have connected, eh? They they are, mm -hmm. you know, they they're, they, they, they're talking yeah, yeah, yeah. to each other. They, they, is... they, are, they are starting to, yeah, uh, no. to talk to each other. It's yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. In that's the, same. that's yeah. the and object. If, if, if we can, I, I'd like to add something else about the dissemination. Maybe we can create a, um, a, a Facebook page, maybe. And mm -hmm. in order to uh, disseminate our um, our work, and uh, uh, and for the students, maybe we can create an Instagram page um, in order uh, to uh, to make them realize even some reels or I don't know some uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think that they would make be them able... download their pictures because they use Instagram uh, as they. Uh, no, mm, as not. <laughs> so, yeah. so. I think that's and, their uh, language. They would like to do that, I think. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, then. Um, right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> then we'll just, you know, 